Hey, hey, party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new Rampant Modern Lower Thirds 01 Premiere Pro template. Yes, Premiere Pro templates, nothing in After Effects, no dynamic linking, 100% native Premiere Pro, titles in Premiere Pro. You don't need anything but Premiere and some footage and a need for titles. So, without any further ado, let's go to our Finder. Or if you're on a PC, uh, use Windows Explorer and go ahead and find the project file. Here it is. When you unzip this project file, there's only two files because everything is 100% contained in Premiere and there's no additional assets. So let's go ahead and uh, obviously you'd have your Premiere pro project file. Let's go ahead and open up our installation file, which is our other one, real quick. And this, just like in all of our other uh, templates, just gives you a quick uh, overview of uh, how to unzip the file, what uh, Premiere versions this works with, what fonts we use, how to do a new ticket. If you need if you need some help and you need to set up a support ticket, go ahead and click on that. Or give us a call if you prefer to talk on the phone. We're always here to help and we're down with helping any way we can. So if you need some help, give us a shout and we'll help you out. All right. Before we go into Premiere though, let's go ahead and highlight the project file. Just like all of our templates, right click if you're on the Mac and hit duplicate. If you're on a PC, copy and paste or duplicate. Um, do not... Um, do this project. Do not use this project without making a copy. So I had to catch my, my thought there for a second. My brain's going a million miles an hour. I've got uh, so much going on here uh, at the studio. So anyway, don't ever use these without making a duplicate. Why? Because the second you make changes, it's never going to revert back to the original if you need to use it again. So always make a copy. All right. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro. All right, so I'm in Premiere Pro. I've got the Rampant Modern Lower Thirds loaded, and life is good. I do need to say that this is a Premiere Pro CC 2014 project file, meaning anything that's 2014, 2015, or 2017, you can obviously run this, this template. If, it, if you are running earlier than 2014, for example, CC or CS4, CS5, or CS6, you are out of luck. I'm sorry, this is not compatible. So you need CC 2014 in order to use this. Okay, so you've got Premiere Pro CC 2014. You've got this bad boy loaded up. What do I do? What am I looking at? Well, it comes default looking like this with just the lower thirds preview, right? And the cool thing about this preview is instead of being uh, stacked horizontally and just you know going through the timeline watching every single uh, lower third, they're stacked vertically. So you can change it. So you can preview everything you want. So you just turn off the top layer and turn on the bottom layer. So now I'm looking at lower third 01. That's cool. Let's turn that one off. Turn on two. Roll it back. Lower third 02. That was pretty cool. Turn that off. Turn that on. Lower third 3. Lower third 4. And it should be said, I mean, it goes without saying, these also have an out as well as an in, right? So, and so on and so forth. Go to five. See, so they're all slightly, slightly different. If you like this style, but you want a different animation, you've got six options of animation paths. So cool. Let's go ahead and address one because it's got everything all built out. You've got your title right here. You've got your name right here, and you've got some optional info. That's an awful lot of information for a lower third, but mm, maybe you need it. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Just like all of our other lower thirds, go over here to the project window, and let's go to lower third 01. Twirl that down, and you've got some options, right? You've got the lower third timeline, which you can open this up. It's just another sequence, and if you like working this way, you can. I don't. I, I just like to leave things alone. I built it. Just go ahead and leave it alone. So we'll come back to that in a second. All right, so your name, your optional third text, and your subtitle. So let's highlight your name just like all of our other title uh, tutorials, and let's double click it. And it's going to say your name. So I'm just going to name the person who uh, messaged me last on the book. So that would be Boyce. He's a really amazing singer. You should look him up if you don't know who he is. He was also on our show. All right, so voice right there. So obviously I need to change optional info and your title. So let's go click on subtitle, which will open it up in the title tool. And I'm going to put singer like so, right? And then optional info, double click that. He's really good. Okay, so you roll that back, and you've got the name, lower third, third option, text. Very cool. And you're like, well, what if I want to check this out over video? I mean, who does lower thirds without video? Good point. Go ahead and hit import. I'm going to bring in some stock footage from my favorite stock footage company, Shutterstock. And no, I'm not being paid by them. I license all my video from them. 
So uh, I'm not being paid by Shutterstock, but if uh, they want to give me some kind of free footage, I'm not going to say no. All right, dragging Shutterstock over here. Again, this is not what voice looks like, obviously, but it's the only musician footage I've got on me right now. And there you go. Very simple. Cool. What if you don't want all of this? What if this is just like, wow, man, it's, I like the animation and everything works. I just, who does this? Fair enough. Go ahead and highlight your lower third 01 and double click on it, right? This takes you to the lower third 01 uh, comp, basically. I'm calling them comps because I'm an After Effects guy. It's a timeline. It's a nested, nested timeline. It's really, you can call it whatever you want. All right. So right here, everything's labeled. Text 01 optional third text placeholder. Just go ahead and highlight that and turn it off. It's gone. If you roll it back, gone. And if you're like, yeah, that's cool, but I literally just want the name. Okay, that's easy enough as well. Just highlight secondary title and turn it off. Well, ain't that crazy. That's wild. See, you're good to go. That's easy. So let's go over here into lower thirds preview and um, just going to move some footage over here. I'm going to show you a little something, something. Let's say you just had your footage, right? You can also, if you're using this uh, project in a timeline that, or in another project file that's not just a generic uh, project file like this, you can uh, just drag your lower thirds over like so. And you're good to go. Obviously, uh, you're going to want to unlink that. All right. And then, of course, you can highlight lower third of one, go over to effects controls, and you can reposition it. So. There's lots of room. You can position uh, position it right on the safe title line like that. Or you can bring it all the way down so the voice name is literally on the safe title. Roll it back. Cool. It's that simple. I'll do another one real quick just to show you how easy it is. Go ahead and twirl down lower third two, and you can obviously uh, edit it this way. I prefer to edit it in the actual title. so. I'm going to call this Sean. That's me. And our subtitle. I'm going to call this, I don't know, tutorial. Right? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm, this is all very generic. So then I roll this back and turn this over. See, that simple. All right. So what if you want to change the color? What if you like the animation, but you're like, yo, 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 I can't, I can't do this blue thing. Like my client wants something else. No problem. So go ahead and highlight lower third. We're working on number two. So highlight lower third O2. Double click on it. And here's where you've got your your nested comp for lo for the lower third O2. Once again, you can turn off the layers. You know, um, whatever you want to do. Right here is where you want to go to change the color of the boxes. So go ahead and double click on this. This is lower third two, so I want to edit the lower third boxes O2. It's all in the same comp, real easy. Just double click on that. And you've got three layers, right? And you've already got tints already added to each and every one of these layers, right? So if I turn this off and I turn this off, you've got this light blue, right? So let's go ahead and click on this. And let's just scooch this up to like a green, right? Like so. Go ahead and turn this on. Scooch this up to some kind of a green, like so. And then once again, turn this one to a green as well. Right, and then you roll it back and you've got different shades of green. So all you're doing is changing the tint. Every single box is a tint on it, so you can change the colors to whatever you like. I'll go ahead and roll this back. And we're lower third 02, and we now have a green lower third. That's it. Very simple, very easy to use. You just need some footage and to change the text and you're good to go. So for this template or any other Premiere Pro template, go to PremiereTemplates.net. That's PremiereTemplates.net. Once again, I'm Sean Mullen for Rampant Design. Thanks for watching.